Hello. My name is Rusty. I'm excited to be here for our time with God. God wants to be with you. We need to have precious time with him. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your love. Our relationship with you, oh, we enjoy it, God, and we want to learn more about you. I pray that you would teach us how to have a better relationship with you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Here's our question from the previous day for Bible trivia. What did Joseph's brothers do to him? What did they do to him? Maybe you're not sure. Joseph, his brothers hated him. They were sick of him. Joseph didn't know why. They sold him into slavery. They sold him to Egypt. It was really sad, but remember, God always has a plan. Sometimes we never understand, but in that story, it's a beautiful story. Okay, so now we're continuing to discuss about the armor of God. So today, the gospel of peace. Many people don't realize, but did you know that the whole world is trying to find peace? They're looking for it. The gospel, that means good news. And the good news is about Jesus Christ, that he came to the earth to die on the cross. He was willing to take your sins. He was willing to pay off your debt for sin. And then that brings us peace. So Paul was writing about the armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15. And your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. This is so cool. Paul was talking about feet. So what does that mean? It means as you're walking along, make people aware about the good news. The good news of Jesus Christ. That will bring them peace. They need to have peace only through Jesus. And we should really thank God for scripture because it explains like John chapter 3, 16, it explains so much. And there are so many verses about Jesus. And we need to spread that news about what God's done for people. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord, for allowing Paul to write about the armor of God. Last time we explained about the breastplate and the belt of truth. And it's so important that we stand strong. And it's beautiful that our feet can carry the gospel of peace about Jesus Christ. And people need to hear about him because he's our savior. So I pray that you would help us to spread the gospel around the world. You're precious. We love you in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. I'm excited. Are you? It's Bible trivia time. So what's our question? Who was Moses's successor after his death? So I'll explain this a little bit. Moses was with Israel. About two or three million people walking around the desert for four years to get to remember Moses grew up in Egypt. He was, but then he was in the wilderness for 40 years and he was ready to go into the promised land. He didn't touch it yet, but he could see it, but it was time for Moses 
to give the responsibility to the next leaguer. Do you know who it was? If you do, type it below. And remember, God will always be with you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.